So, how was everybody's weekend? Everybody else have a great weekend? I had a great weekend. I will tell you more about my weekend as the week proceeds. Because believe me, I've got a lot of shit to talk about. I've already got a list made. I've got a lot of shit to talk about this week. So expect multiple videos per day again. So, first things first though. Uh, Joe Biden <laughs> has created kind of a, a, a like a, a conundrum, right? It, it's an interesting question. How do you as a candidate run for president of the United States when you literally can't do interviews and can't like go out in public and talk? Like, the guy, every single time he opens his fucking mouth, he, he can't help but say something that's going to piss somebody off. And here's the thing. He's aligned himself with the most sensitive portion of this country. The people that you literally can't say shit to or around without it being misinterpreted or taken out of context or just deemed bad. Like, the whole fucking thing of it. Now, I'm not defending what he said because, to me, I, I don't really give a shit. I don't have an opinion on it because it doesn't really, it doesn't apply to me. It doesn't matter to me. I, I just think it's funny that he even said it. But, so he goes on... Charlemagne the God show. I don't, I don't know what the fuck it's called. And he says to him, you ain't black if you don't vote for me. <laughs> so, obviously, a, a large portion of black people are very upset, right? That I, Some people are saying, look, man, the black vote ain't free. You got to earn it. And I would say that's, you know, explain Obama then, because it seemed to me that the black vote was pretty fucking free for him. I, I don't know, but whatever. A lot of people now are taking a hardcore stance. So, hey, you know, that's, that's, that's on them. They, they can have their own thoughts on whatever. But, like... <laughs> He's pissed a lot of people off. And I, I don't really think that it matters at the end of the day. It, he's not going to win. No matter what, Joe Biden ain't going to win. Like that, that, and honestly, at this point, with the way that the Democrats have been talking, I, I don't even think he's going to be the nominee. The more he does this kind of dumb shit, I, I don't think he's going to even be the nominee. I think a couple months from now, we're going to be talking about the Biden that possibly was. And it... Because <laughs> I just don't... I don't fucking see it happening. I mean, hey, stranger fucking things have happened in politics. Donald Trump is the president. But I, I, don't, I don't... The more this kind of shit goes on, I just don't see them actually even being capable of running Joe Biden. Right now, they're stressing the capability of running Joe Biden. So, but like, how, how, how does he run? He can't talk to anybody. It's either he says something that offends somebody when he's lucid, or we get him when he's not lucid. And that just looks scary. Like, it looks scary. Like, I don't know if Democrats think that Donald Trump is so, so bad that, like, people will go, well, even though Joe Biden is kind of, like, not entirely there, we've known for years now that Trump is really not entirely there. So, lesser of two evils? Because all that shit's kind of made up in their minds. As far as I've seen, Donald Trump, since he's become president, has kind of played the world every fucking which way he wants. 
He's got the media dancing to his tune. He's got the leftists fucking attacking each other now. <laughs> like, Michael Moore is now a fucking right wing racist or what? Whatever the fuck, I don't know. He's he's apparently allied himself with white supremacists because he doesn't he doesn't really buy the whole climate change thing or he doesn't like green energy or I, I, I don't fucking know I, I didn't see the documentary and apparently I can't now because YouTube has taken it down because it had ideas that people can't fight against like this is where we're at they've run out of people on the right to fuck with because people on the right have shown for years now that, that we don't care like, we get the context of what's going on. So you're not changing our minds by going, Oh my God, they did that. Like, we sit here and look at their own people and go, Well, they're doing that. Fucking... And then they go, Yeah, that's right. They're doing that too. And then they freak out on those people and it's like... Do you even have, like, a, a fucking... It's just, it's just, like, you just don't like anybody. No, nobody's good enough for the purity test. What a fucking surprise. So, yeah, but Joe Biden, really not good enough for the fucking... And now everybody's bringing up his racist policies of the past and this, that, and the other fucking thing. And it's like... And you know, there's some people that are saying, well, now he's boxed himself in. He has to have a black woman running mate because now he can't possibly not have a black woman running mate and at the same time I'm like yeah but whoever he chooses as his black woman running mate they're essentially going to be called a race traitor because they're with Joe Biden and Joe Biden says things like you're not black if you don't vote for me or you know black kids are just as smart as white kids. Like a statement that doesn't need to be made because all kids are just kind of as smart as each other. They're all fucking stupid. <laughs> like they're kids. That's, they're in the beginning of their lives. They all have the same potential to be great or useless. They all have the same potential. It's all fucking right inside of them. It's not a statement that ever needs to be qualified in any way. But he's gonna fucking make it because he, he thinks that somehow people are going to find that shit endearing. Joe Biden, I have news for you. Nobody finds shit like that endearing anymore. Nobody thinks it's cute. Nobody thinks it's fun. Nobody's going to go, oh, Joe Biden. Because everybody hates everything now. Like, even the people that are above that shit, that are beyond that shit, they still hate everybody. Like, everybody just hates everybody. Everybody's got a fucking problem with everything. You, 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 the only way to navigate those waters is to fucking plow through them at Mach 10 and just say, fuck it, I don't care. That's what Donald Trump has done. He's figured out how to navigate the everybody's going to hate me no matter what fucking scenario. He just kind of goes, well, I'll just do my fucking thing then. And he just does it. And if people shit on him for it, he goes, me. And if people don't shit on him for it, he goes, me. It, 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 <laughs> like that it's the only way when everybody is gonna not like you no matter what just, just do your thing just keep on keep it on and figure it out but Joe Biden can't do that shit because he has to suck so much dick and now black people don't want him sucking their dick and it's like well Joe Biden is gonna have to figure out a way to get that black dick in his mouth again because he's never gonna win without the black vote of course because the only people that vote Democrat are black. I guess. I, I don't fucking know. Uh, 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 apparently that ain't fucking true. Because there's a whole bunch of black people that are like, fuck you, Joe Biden. So apparently not all black people just are guaranteed to vote Democrat. Who'd have thunk? There are autonomous people that have their own thoughts and feelings on the world and their own perspectives and, and they can think for themselves. Wow. Who'd have known? We gonna show hands? Anybody else? I see a lot of hands coming up back there. Yep. Apparently, black people uh, they have their own brains, right? So y you can't just say some shit like, 
you're not black if you don't vote for me. Because <laughs> that's going to piss people off. But of course, nowadays, what fucking is it? So, pff, good luck to Joe Biden. And honestly, good luck to all of them. Like, good luck to all of them. They're never, they're never going to figure it out. They're never going to just figure it out. Because no matter what, they can't just plow through and say, fuck it. Because all of their points of view are sucking somebody's dick. They want the Green New Deal. Well, whose dick are they sucking for that? All the fucking planet activists. The Greta Thunbergs of the world. They're sucking her dick. They want her fucking support. They gotta suck the dick of the fucking illegal immigrant. Because they want their support. Why? Because with the illegal immigrant, even though they can't really vote, comes all of the people that are on the side of the illegal immigrant. All of their advocates. And they think that they can honestly just collect all of these really outspoken advocates for all this different shit and somehow juggle that? Yeah. It doesn't work. It's never going to work because all these people just hate everything. You can't win with them because when you take up one cause, you're pissing off all these other causes and then when you go, well, no, I support you guys too. Well, then the one cause that you just took up says, well, what the fuck? Like, what what just happened? You were on our side, and now you're with the... What, what the fuck? So, it's a losing battle, kind of, no matter what. When you're trying to fit as many dicks in your mouth as you possibly can, sooner or later, you hit maximum dickage. And all the Democrats have just hit maximum dickage. You have to pick and choose your battles. You cannot be on everybody's side at once. Doesn't work that way. Because people are going to go, well, you're not really on my side, you're just saying you are. So you get my vote. Yeah, that's kind of what they've been doing. For forever. So, eh, I, eh, you know, eh, hey, apparently, if you don't vote for Joe Biden, you ain't black. And, and... And he's like, oh, maybe I should have been so cavalier. And it's like, dude, that ain't cavalier. Like, that's... <laughs> I don't really know what that is. Like, who the fuck says that shit? You ain't black if you don't vote for me. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that, you know, take shit for granted. And then all of a sudden, you ain't got shit no more. And there you go. It's a moral of the lesson. You have to actually have principles, right? And, and you have to stick to them. Kind of no matter what. And th there you go. Like, you can change your principles if they become terrible, awful principles. But there's a lot of people out there with principles right now that I think someday may learn. Perhaps not the best idea, but you got to have compelling reasons for it, you know. So I, I don't know when your compelling reason is. Well, now the the winds have blown this direction. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't it doesn't really work that way. You, you have to have some level of consistency, and Joe Biden has got a, a level of consistency that I don't think anybody really thinks he should have. And that consistency is, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> I mean, when he was vice president, they literally hit Joe Biden. They had him out and about for about the first half of the year that Obama was president. And then after a while, he fucked up so much and did so many weird fucking things that people were like, all right, Joe, you're just not, you're not allowed to go out anymore. We can't have you. Like, Joe Biden would have never been in charge of the coronavirus thing, the way Mike Pence has kind of spearheaded that whole fucking thing. Joe Biden would have never, because it would have been, it would have required too much talking publicly. And they couldn't have had Joe Biden out there talking publicly because God fucking knows what's going to come out of his mouth. Truth over facts. Like, I, dude. So yeah, the whole Joe Biden thing just gets more and more sad every time he talks. And it just kind of makes me laugh more and more because I'm like, if this is what you got, man. If this is what you got, like, what, what, 
it reminds me of World Series X amount of years ago. I don't remember what it was. But Arizona, they just snuck the fuck in. Like, they had a really amazing tear, like, the last two or three weeks of the regular season. And they wound up going into the postseason, and they continued to go on an amazing tear. And eight through the National League, like, it was fucking nothing. You know, kind of like the National League is every fucking season. Nevertheless, they fucking were just, man, they were badasses. And everybody was like, I don't know, man, Arizona. And I'm like, they're going to lose. I'm like, I don't give a fuck who they play against. And I think it was like, I think it came down to either the Red Sox or the Indians. And, and the Indians choke like a motherfucker. And I was excited because I'm like, man, if only the Indians could beat the Red Sox, we're going to win the World Series. There's no fucking way. Because it was a season where, like, everybody was sweeping everybody. It was like, oh, this team is playing this team, and they fucking get whichever team got swept. Everybody swept their way to the fucking end until it came down to Red Sox and the Indians, and it looked like it was almost going to be a sweep, but then the Indians, like, won a game or two or some shit like that. It was fucking so disappointing. And they lost, and sure as shit, I said, Red Sox, they're going to sweep because the Diamondbacks are just not that good. Like, they snuck their way in because they had a really, really, really good couple of last weeks. And they're playing National League teams. They figured out how to play like an American League team for like three weeks. And now, no. They're, they're not going to fucking be able to stand against a good American League team. And sure as shit, they got fucking swept. I don't know how I got on this. How did I get on this? I had a point to make that was related to baseball, but then I talked about the fucking thing so much, <clears throat> now I don't remember what my ultimate point was. Oh, it's kind of like the Democrats. Pretty much, you were looking at them going, the, the, Joe Biden is the, the, the uh, Arizona of the situation. He, he's, he had a really good uh, couple of weeks where he won a lot of delegates in a lot of states, and then everybody went... <laughs> and threw up their hands and fucking gave up because, again, the Democratic way. And now he's here, and I'm just looking at him like, dude, there's no fucking way you're going to win. You're a National League team. I don't know. I think that was where I was going with the metaphor. <laughs> Anyways, so I got a lot of shit going on. I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about, but this, is, this was just... I had to go into this because fucking Joe Biden, man, just... Uh, I honestly wonder if by the end of all of this, because Joe Biden's going to have to get out there and talk, like, more and more often, I wonder if Joe Biden doesn't literally become the most hated man in the country, kind of like Hillary Clinton, all over again. And there you go, Donald Trump, bah, 2020. I, I just... It, so sad. I would much rather see an actual fucking candidate, but they don't like any of their actual candidates because they have to kind of be realistic. They can't just fucking go, ah, whatever, and and fucking be a good candidate. You got, you no, you can't, but eh. <laughs> oh, this is so fucking sad.